Hi everyone, uh, MP Garnet Jenis here from the lobby of the House of Commons. It is an exciting day. Uh, the House of Commons is about to vote on two initiatives uh, that I've been working on for almost the entire time that I've been a member of Parliament. So uh, I'm very pleased to be able to share this live update with you. After I share just a bit of context, we're going to switch the feed over so you can actually watch the vote take place in the House of Commons. So the first vote is on a motion uh, to support uh, support Tibet, to support uh, uh, Sino-Tibetan dialogue, dialogue between Tibet and China uh, towards the establishment of the middle way approach, which is the recognition of genuine autonomy for Tibet within the framework of the Chinese constitution. This is something that the Tibetan community throughout the world has been advocating on, and it's about to be endorsed by Canada's parliament. Uh, there's going to be kind of an unrelated vote in between, and then the, 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 the second vote of, of concern uh, primarily to me that I'm putting forward, the, the, the third vote overall, is a, is a vote, final vote, on my private member's bill, S223, that would seek to ban forced organ harvesting and trafficking, to make a criminal, it a criminal offense for a Canadian to go abroad and receive an organ taken without consent, uh, or, and also make someone inadmissible to Canada if they've been involved in forced organ harvesting and trafficking. So these are, are two uh, critical human rights initiatives, one about supporting autonomy for Tibet, the other about putting a stop to organ harvesting and trafficking. And we know that there are cases where Canadians have gone and received organs that have been harvested from people without consent. Uh, and uh, so by passing this legislation, we will save lives. We will help to stop that demand for uh, forced uh, harvested organs. Uh, and this will, um, will, will protect, uh, protect people that might otherwise be victims. So it's an exciting day on Parliament Hill with these two major votes happening. Uh, we have people uh, from the Tibetan community, uh, from the Uyghur community, from the Falun Gong community that have been advocating uh, on autonomy for Tibet, on organ harvesting, uh, that are here on, on Parliament Hill that are going to be taking in the vote. After the vote, uh, we're going to then do a walk from Parliament Hill over to the Chinese embassy to, to, to let them know uh, that Canada's parliament has made this powerful step standing with the victims of, uh, of, of violence being committed by the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, we see the, the implications of, of that violence being committed uh, by the Chinese Communist Party, uh, violence happening uh, against, uh, against victims in, inside of China as well as outside of China, it, it, even instances of foreign interference uh, here in Canada. So there are, there are many of these issues that are happening, and these votes from Canada's parliament uh, will send a powerful message of hope, of hope to those that have suffered, of hope to those who have family members that are in Tibet and East Turkestan, uh, in, uh, in Hong Kong, elsewhere. Uh, it will send, send them a message of hope that the Canadian Parliament is taking the stand for human rights. Uh, so both of these are motions that I've put forward that I've been working on for a long time. And if you follow my Facebook page, I know you'll have seen these updates uh, on the Tibet issue as well as the organ harvesting and trafficking issue. And I just want to thank everybody who's been a part of these issues. And again, we're going to be going live in just a minute, a minute to the vote in the House. Uh, but I want to thank everybody who's, who's uh, signed petitions uh, who's called your local MP, who's been a part of these issues in, uh, in different ways. Uh, really, it has been a groundswell of, of your support, your involvement uh, that has allowed uh, these things to happen. So uh, it's a great day. And now what we'll do is we'll switch over uh, to the feed from the House of Commons. So question period is still going on. It's just wrapping up. So when we switch over, uh, you'll see kind of the tail end of question period. Uh, maybe there'll be some, uh, some points raised in between. Uh, but within the next five or 10 minutes, uh, the House of Commons will switch over straight into that vote uh, where members will be voting. We expect unanimously in favor of autonomy for Tibet and in favor of this bill to ban forced organ harvesting and trafficking. Uh, there's more work to do. There's always more work to do to defend justice and human rights. But these are two critical steps happening on the same day. I want to thank you again for your support. Uh, and let's watch the vote. at all of Canada's 17 medical schools have called for a delay to the Liberals' deeply flawed made legislation that will expand eligibility to those with mental disorders in March of next year. So will the Prime Minister finally listen to the experts? 
finally listen to vulnerable Canadians and press pause on this deeply flawed made expansion. Yeah. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the safety and security of our most vulnerable must remain at the forefront of our considerations. We need to be careful and thoughtful in our approach at every step. That's why we're continuing to work with experts, including those at the front lines and those with lived experience, uh, working with all parliamentarians, working with provinces and territories to ensure that there is a strong framework in place. The Honourable Member for Kildonan St. Paul. Mr. Speaker, in 2015, a Toronto man shot and killed his friend. He spent only five years in jail. Then he was charged in 2021 with another shooting. And while out on bail for that, he has now been charged for running a massive gun smuggling ring of the very guns that are being used by criminals like him to terrorize people in Toronto and Montreal and Vancouver and Winnipeg. This is what's going on in our cities, Mr. Speaker. Clearly, gangs are the problem. So why is the Prime Minister going after hunters? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, after the previous Conservative government cut about a billion dollars from law law enforcement and border agencies. We've stepped up on ensuring uh, that our enforcement agencies have the tools they need. We've also invested massively in community safety programs, in support for young people, and yes, moving forward on gun control to make sure there's a freeze on the market for handguns and uh, that we're banning assault-style uh, weapons. This is something we're going to continue to work on. We will fighting hunters and fishers to ensure uh, that the right guns are banned. And, uh, but we make sure uh, that we are doing... Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister and the leader of the Bloc Québécois are completely disconnected from the reality when it comes to keeping Quebecers safe. They, together, are targeting the people who respect laws while allowing criminals to wander freely in our communities. With the support of the Bloc, the passage of Bill C-5 this week allowed a criminal to avoid prison despite the fact that he had been arrested with two loaded handguns. Bill C-21, is all, which is also supported by the Bloc, is also attacking Quebecers uh, and hunters. Why are these leaders so disconnected? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, what we're seeing right now and what we've seen in recent years is that uh, step by step, the so-called... Uh, anti-crime bills moved forward by the previous Conservative government have been uh, taken out of the criminal code, have been struck down by the courts because they didn't work. Now, obviously, a law that uh, can't uh, hold up uh, in court isn't going to work to protect uh, people. And that's why we are moving forward, respecting our justice system, respecting our judges, and by making sure that we are truly protecting Canadians with the uh, laws that'll hold up. The Honourable Member for Lac saint jean Mr. Speaker, Roxham Road is breaking records. By the end of the year, 40,000 asylum seekers will have uh, probably gone through. That's why Quebec's Minister of Immigration, Christine Flechette, is asking the federal government to pay to support asylum seekers while they are learning French. It's a good idea. It's as compassionate as it is productive, and it will help support them during uh, the months where they're waiting for a, a work permit from Ottawa. Since the Prime Minister is responsible for Roxham Road, will he pay to help asylum seekers learn French while they're waiting to be able to work? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, since the beginning of this situation, we have been there to invest and to work in partnership to help Quebec continue to be generous, as Quebecers have always been, and to help welcome asylum seekers. We recognize that this is a, a heavy burden for the government of Quebec, so we are there to support them. When it comes to learning French, I want to note that we're sending over $700 million a year to the government of Quebec for French language programs, and we will continue to be there to make sure that in Quebec we continue uh, to protect the French language. The Honourable Member for Lac Saint-Jean. Mr. Speaker, when the Prime Minister says that he wants to see Quebec welcome 112,000 uh, new arrivals every year, that's 112,000 plus the 40,000 who come in from Roxham Road. So while he's asking Quebec to create uh, to welcome 152,000 new people each year, uh, are there more investments in French language? Well, no. Will there be uh, increases in health care? Uh, no. Uh, in a housing crisis, is there new money to help deal with the rising population? Once again, no. Mr. Speaker, does the Prime Minister know that immigration is real people, not just a number that's plucked out of thin air? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. 
Mr. Speaker, as I've just said, every year we send over $700 million to the government of Quebec for programs to promote uh, learning the French language. And if they need more, they just have to ask because we believe in protecting the French language. We believe in French language learning for new immigrants and we want to help. Mr. Speaker, what I've said and what I've what I'll continue to say is that Quebec can set its own levels of immigration. If they want more immigrants, they can certainly uh, welcome more. And we will be there to uh, work with them to make sure that uh, we uh, meet the labor shortage. It's Grenville, Thousand Islands, and Rito Lakes. Another day, another liberal minister found guilty of breaking ethics laws. This time it's the international trade minister who, through a shady deal, gave tens of thousands of dollars to her BFF. CBC pundit Amanda Alvero. The history with this pair goes back to when they worked for the corrupt Ontario McGuinty Liberals. Now, old habits might die hard for these two, but Canadians deserve better. Is the reason that this prime minister won't fire his minister because he'd be holding her to a higher standard than he holds himself? The right honourable prime minister. Obviously, we respect the work of the commissioner and the work that the office does. The minister has taken full responsibility and apologized. For Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, and Rideau Lakes. Uh, full responsibility isn't a forced apology and crocodile tears. It is a resignation, and that's what that's what Canadians expect from members of the King's Privy Council. It was fine for Art Eggleton when he gave tens of thousands of dollars to an old girlfriend. He he knew that he had to resign. What we don't know is why there's a different set of rules for this prime minister and for this minister. So. Will this Prime Minister finally do the right thing, show Canadians that, that there, are, uh, there are actions that they need to be held accountable for, and fire this Minister today? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The Minister has taken full responsibility and apologized. The Honourable Member for Shakutami Lefjord. Well, Mr. Speaker, the Liberals are uh, never short of scandals, are they? We Charity and the SNC-Lavalin scandal, among others, obviously. The most recent ethics violation is from the Minister of International Trade, who gave two contracts to her very close friend, Amanda Alvero. Apologies are not enough when we know that Canadians are suffering from inflation, and the Liberals, at the same time, are making their friends richer on the backs of taxpayers. So it's pretty simple. The Minister must resign. Will she resign herself? Or is the Prime Minister going to have to make sure she resigns? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we respect the work done by the Commissioner and the work of his office. The Minister has taken full responsibility and apologized. The Honourable Minister, uh, Member for Madagascar, Restigouche. Mr. Speaker, since the launch of our detailed emissions reduction plan for 2030 with COP27 in Egypt and the organization of COP15 in Montreal, our government uh, continues to work hard when it comes to fighting climate change. Can the Prime Minister please inform this House of the progress that Canada is making in fighting climate change? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank my Honourable Colleague from Madawaska Restigouche for his question and for his uh, hard work in his writing. We're taking concrete measures to uh, deal with the double crisis of the loss of biodiversity and climate change. This year, we uh, launched the first national adaptation strategy for Canada. We've announced uh, with 38 other countries that we will be ending by the end of the year all new support uh, to uh, the international uh, fossil fuel uh, sector without uh, a work being done to reduce uh, emissions. We will continue to take ambitious measures to build a healthier future for all. Well, member for Foothills. The Liberals have found the solution to record high food inflation. Wipe the stats away from existence. We have record high inflation, 40 year high, food prices are up 11% and more than half of Canadian families are worried about their ability to put food on the table. The Liberal solution? Erase more than 25 years of historical food wow. inflation data from the StatsCan website. Wow. So for a Liberal government that pretends to make decisions based on science and data, the Liberal government has erased 25 years of vital inflation information from the website. Why? Yeah. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. 
Mr. Speaker, we will take no lessons on data from the former Conservative government uh, that tried to cancel the long-form census because they didn't want uh, decisions to be based on facts and data. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we will follow up. These are uh, troubling allegations. We will ensure uh, that data remains accessible to Canadians uh, every step of the way. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Canadians are facing tough times right now, but the times would be even tougher if they'd followed the advice of the leader of the official opposition when he said to opt out of inflation by cryptocurrencies. They would have lost half their life savings. That's not responsible leadership, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Foothills. These are not allegations. The Liberals are covering up their inflation record by erasing 25 years of vital food, inf food inflation data from the StatsCan website. The Prime Minister cannot hide from those facts. The facts are tripling the carbon tax will cost a typical Canadian farmer $150,000 a year. The facts are research has already said eliminating this data is making the research harder and they no longer believe or trust the, the numbers coming from the Liberal government. Those are the facts. The Prime Minister can't hide from them. Why is he trying to cover up his inflation record by eliminating data from the StatsCan website? Yeah. The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, obviously these are concerning allegations and we will be following up on them because we are the government that restored uh, long-form census. We are the government that bases, uh, in, bases uh, policy on data and evidence uh, and we will continue to. But talking about evidence and facts, Mr. Speaker, it's important for Conservatives to stop misleading Canadians uh, and I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry but I mean the odd the odd cackle coming out or the odd heckle coming out is one thing but when you're trying to drown someone out that's really not not polite and it's not parliamentary if I can ask the the honorable uh, the right honorable prime minister start from the top please uh, Mr. Speaker obviously uh, these allegations are concerning we will be following up on them but it, Mr. Speaker, from the Conservative Party that continually waged war on facts when it was in government by eliminating the long-form census uh, and uh, not being transparent with Canadians, uh, to uh, continuing uh, to try and mislead Canadians on uh, the price on pollution that actually puts more money back in the pockets of hard-working Canadians uh, every single year, actually four times a year now, uh, because it's a way of both fighting climate change and protecting, uh, protecting families balance books. Uh, these are important things to continue to do. The Honourable Member for Megantic Lerab. Mr. Speaker, we learned today that uh, the Prime Minister is sharing power with uh, the NDP. And uh, it's uh, half, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Whichever leader uh, that the uh, uh, Costly Coalition chooses, the results are going to be the same. Billions of dollars in inflationary spending on the backs of Canadians who've never paid so much for their uh, Christmas uh, dinner. The worst inflation in 40 years. And so, Mr. Speaker, in 2023, who is going to be leading this costly coalition? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, when the Conservatives complain that we are investing too much money to help Canadians, we understand that they are once again uh, promoting austerity. Mr. Speaker, we are delivering uh, $1,300 over the next two years for families who couldn't pay uh, to send their kids to see the dentist. The Conservatives voted against that measure. $1,300 in the pockets of Canadian families who need it. And, you know, we've already seen tens of thousands of families take advantage of this program because it helps them. It helps them improve the health of their children and it helps with spending. We are there to help Canadians. Vancouver, Sunshine Coast, Sea to Sky Country. Speaker, my riding of West Vancouver, Sunshine Coast, Sea to Sky Country, uh, many have long struggled with the high cost of housing. More recently, this has extended to the high cost for those that are renting. And that's why it's so important that our government introduced a top up payment to the Canada Housing Benefit of $500, which passed in the House last month. Can the Prime Minister please tell us about when folks can expect to receive this benefit? Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank my colleague from West Vancouver, Sun, Sun Co Sunshine Coast, Sea to Sky Country, for his question and his hard work for his constituents. We know that higher rental costs are impacting so many Canadians across the country. That's why we brought in a $500 top up to the Canada Housing Benefit, which will help almost 2 million Canadians who need it most. Just recently, I had the pleasure to announce that applications for the payment are now open, and I encourage those eligible to apply.
our government will always have the backs of Canadians. The Honourable Member for Winnipeg Centre. Mr. Speaker, yesterday family members and Indigenous leaders wrote an urgent request to ministers. They are asking this government to provide resources for searches of the Prairie Green and Brady landfills to find the remains of loved ones and to invite the UN Special Rapporteur on the rights of Indigenous peoples to oversee the searches after the Winnipeg City Police said Indigenous peoples are on their own. The Prime Minister admitted the crisis of murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls and two-spirit people was a genocide. Will he respond to these demands and make federal resources available now? The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadians' hearts are breaking uh, for the terrible news coming out of Winnipeg on more uh, missing and murdered Indigenous women. This is absolutely unacceptable. Uh, I, we have received uh, the letters uh, from the families. We see the level of pain, and the federal government will look uh, to do whatever we can to support the province, uh, the city, and whoever needs support in terms of giving closure and justice for these families. The Honourable Member for Kitchener Centre. Mr. Speaker, in the last election, the Liberals promised a new $4.5 billion mental health transfer to the provinces. To date, they haven't funded a single cent of it. Mental health advocates across the country are calling for these funds. In my community alone, Almost 4,000 people are waiting for mental health and addictions care right now. Will the PM follow through on his election promise and fund the mental health transfer in budget 2023? The right honourable prime minister. Mr. Speaker, we made the commitment to funding mental health uh, supports across the country because we saw and heard clearly from Canadians that more needs to be done, that they need to have uh, better access to mental health supports, whether they're students, whether they're seniors, whether they're uh, working Canadians, whether it's uh, farmers who are facing real challenges. Uh, we know uh, that being there for Canadians is essential. That's why we're working with the provinces to make sure they're delivering uh, those uh, mental health resources. And yet, Yes, we will be there with funding, uh, and uh, we need to see results and better outcomes for Canadians. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for questions for today. So, tout le temps que nous avons, conformément, conforme. Okay, the Honourable Government House Leader is rising at a point of order. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, there have been discussions among the parties, and I believe if you seek it, you will find unanimous consent to adopt the following motion. That notwithstanding any standing order, special order, or usual practice of the House, following the completion of today's routine proceedings, A, a member from each recognized party and a member from the Green Party may make a brief statement regarding the end of the sitting, and B, Mr. Speaker, after the statements, the House shall stand adjourned until Monday, January 30th, 2023, provided that for the purpose of any standing order, it shall be deemed to have been adjourned pursuant to standing order 28 and be deemed to have sat on Thursday, December 15th and Friday, December 16th, 2022. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. All those opposed to the honorable member moving the motion will please say nay. Ag Agreed? The House has heard the terms of the motion. All those opposed to the motion will please say nay. Carried. <laughs> Pursuant to order made on Tuesday, December 13, 2022, the House will now proceed to the taking of the deferred recorded division on the motion to concur in the second report of the Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs and International Development. Convoquer les députés. Call in the members. Thank you.
question. The question is as follows. Mr. Genuous, seconded by Mr. Scheer, move that the second report of the Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs and International Development, presented on Tuesday, May 10th, 2022, be concurred in. La période. The 10 minute period for members voting electronically has started, and the House will now proceed to the vote for members participating in person. All those in favor of the motion will please rise. Mr. Shear. Mr. Shear. Mr. Bazan. Mr. Bazan. Mr. Halan. Mr. Halan. Ms. Lewis Haldeman Norfolk. Ms. Lewis Haldeman Norfolk. Mr. Strahl. Mr. Strahl. Ms. Dancho. Ms. Dancho. Mr. Barlow. Mr. Barlow. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Mr. Baldinelli. Mr. Baldinelli. Mr. Mazur. Mr. Mazur. Mr. Jennis. Mr. Jennis. Mr. Richards. Mr. Richards. Mr. Small. Mr. Small. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Bertal. Mr. Bertal. Mr. Workington. Mr. Workington. Ms. Finley. Ms. Finley. Mr. Abute. Mr. Abute. Mr. Chong. Mr. Chong. Mrs. Gray. Mrs. Gray. Mr. Barrett. Mr. Barrett. Mr. Schmale. Mr. Schmale. Mr. Perkins. Mr. Perkins. Mr. Davidson. Mr. Davidson. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Viss. Mr. Viss. Mr. Calkins. Mr. Calkins. Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Lloyd. Ms. Rood. Ms. Rood. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Martel. Mr. Martel. Mr. Godin. Mr. Godin. Mr. Genru. Mr. Genru. Mrs. Roberts. Mrs. Roberts. Mrs. Goodridge. Mrs. Goodridge. Ms. Ferreri. Ms. Ferreri. Mrs. Vecchio. Mrs. Vecchio. Mr. Chambers. Mr. Chambers. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Mr. Lobb. Mr. Lobb. Mr. Allison. Mr. Allison. Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. Mr. McLean. Mr. McLean. Mrs. Gallant. Mrs. Gallant. Mr. Waugh. Mr. Waugh. Mr. Steinley. Mr. Steinley. Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence. Mrs. Cramp Nyman. Mrs. Cramp Nyman. Mr. Le Ou. Mr. Le Ou. Mr. Genereux. Mr. Genereux. Mr. Tucker. Mr. Tucker. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Gould. Mr. Gould. Mr. Caputo. Mr. Caputo. Mr. Arnold. Mr. Arnold. Mr. Brassard. Mr. Brassard. Mr. Williamson. Mr. Williamson. Mr. McGuire. Mr. McGuire. Mr. Cram. Mr. Cram. Mr. Dreeshen. Mr. Dreeshen. Mr. Couric. Mr. Couric. Mr. Albus. Mr. Albus. Mr. Tolmy. Mr. Tolmy. Mr. Muse. Mr. Muse. Mr. Carey. Mr. Carey. Mr. Brock. Mr. Brock. Mr. Shipley. Mr. Shipley. Mr. Redekop. Mr. Redekop. Mr. Morantz. Mr. Morantz. Mr. Macaulay Edmonton West. Mr. Macaulay Edmonton West. Mr. Dowdle. Mr. Dowdle. Mr. Bragdon. Mr. Bragdon. Mr. Epp. Mr. Epp. Mr. Motts. Mr. Motts. Mr. Weber. Mr. Weber. Mrs. Wagenthal. Mrs. Wagenthal. Mr. Beerson. Mr. Beerson. Mr. Ruff. Mr. Ruff. Mr. Shields. Mr. Shields. Mr. Fast. Mr. Fast. Mr. Morrison. Mr. Morrison. Mr. Patzer. Mr. Patzer. Mr. Soroka. Mr. Soroka. Mr. Terrien. Mr. Terrien. Monsieur Sainte Marie. Monsieur Sainte Marie. Madame Normandin. Madame Normandin. Monsieur Simard. Monsieur Simard. Monsieur Bergeron. Monsieur Bergeron. Monsieur Garon. Monsieur Garon. Madame Gill. Madame Gill. Madame de Bellefeuille. Madame de Bellefeuille. Madame Michaud. Madame Michaud. Monsieur Fortin. Monsieur Fortin. Monsieur Brunel du Cep. Monsieur Brunel du Cep. Monsieur Thériault. Monsieur Thériault. Monsieur Villemur. Monsieur Villemur. Madame Larouche. Madame Larouche. Monsieur Perron. Monsieur Perron. Monsieur Plamondon. Monsieur Plamondon. Madame Vignola. Madame Vignola. Monsieur Savard Tremblay. Monsieur Savard Tremblay. Monsieur Champoux. Monsieur Champoux. Monsieur Lemire. Monsieur Lemire. Madame Saint Clair de Gagné. Madame Saint Clair de Gagné. Monsieur Trudel. Monsieur Trudel. Madame Desbiens. Madame Desbiens. Monsieur Blanchette Jonca. Monsieur Blanchette Jonca. Madame Berube. Madame Berube. Monsieur Singh. Monsieur Singh. Monsieur Canning. Monsieur Canning. Mr. Julian. Mr. Julian. Ms. Kwan. Ms. Kwan. Mr. Garrison. Mr. Garrison. Ms. Blaney. Ms. Blaney. Ms. Idlaut. Ms. Idlaut. Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor. Ms. Gazan. Ms. Gazan. Ms. Barron. Ms. Barron. Mr. Backrack. Mr. Backrack. Madame Hughes. Madame Hughes. Ms. Zerillo. Ms. Zerillo. Mr. Angus. Mr. Angus. Ms. Matheson. Ms. Matheson. Mr. Desjardins. Mr. Desjardins. Ms. McPherson. Ms. McPherson. Mr. Morris. Mr. Morris. Mr. Holland. Mr. Holland. Mr. Macaulay Cardigan. Mr. Macaulay Cardigan. Mr. O'Regan. Mr. O'Regan. Ms. Bennett. Ms. Bennett. Mr. Duclos. Mr. Duclos. Ms. Qualtro. Ms. Qualtro. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Leblanc. Mr. Leblanc. Ms. Anon. Ms. Anon. Ms. Tassi. Ms. Tassi. Madame Petitpas Taylor. Madame Petitpas Taylor. Mr. Serre. Mr. Serre. Ms. Jasek. Ms. Jasek. Mr. McKay. Mr. McKay. Mr. Scarpalegia. Mr. Scarpalegia. Madame Saint-Ange. Madame Saint-Ange. Ms. Cara. Ms. Cara. 
Monsieur Vandal. Monsieur Vandal. Madame Fortier. Madame Fortier. Ms. Murray. Ms. Murray. Ms. Gould. Ms. Gould. Ms. Gould. Monsieur McKinnon Gatineau. McKinnon Gatineau. Ms. Ng. Ms. Ng. Ms. Haidu. Ms. Haidu. Madame Le Boutillier. Madame Le Boutillier. Madame Bibo. Madame Bibo. Mr. Housefather. Mr. Housefather. Mr. Casey. Mr. Casey. Monsieur Dubourg. Monsieur Dubourg. Monsieur Arsenault. Monsieur Arsenault. Ms. Vandenbelt. Ms. Vandenbelt. Mr. Sanson. Mr. Sanson. Madame Briard. Madame Briard. Mr. Biddle. Mr. Biddle. Mr. Fillmore. Mr. Fillmore. Mr. Garretson. Mr. Garretson. Mrs. Romanado. Mr. Romanado. Mr. Lamoureux. Mr. Lamoureux. Ms. Sahota. Mr. Sahota. Mr. Varani. Mr. Varani. Mr. Fergus. Mr. Fergus. Mr. Oliphant. Mr. Oliphant. Mr. Ananda Sangari. Ananda Sangari. Madame Koutrakis. Madame Koutrakis. Mr. Duguid. Mr. Duguid. Mr. Lozon. Mr. Lozon. Madame Lalonde. Madame Lalonde. Ms. Dillon. Ms. Dillon. Mr. El Khoury. Mr. El Khoury. Mr. Fonseca. Mr. Fonseca. Mr. Hardy. Mr. Hardy. Mr. Yakano. Mr. Yakano. Mr. Vancouverden. Mr. Vancouverden. Mr. Fisher. Mr. Fisher. Mr. Kuzmerichek. Kuzmerichek. Ms. O'Connell. O'Connell. Ms. Sachs. Ms. Sachs. Mr. Beach. Mr. Beach. Mr. May Cambridge. Mr. May Cambridge. Mr. Cedu Brampton East. Mr. Cedu Brampton East. Ms. Suds. Ms. Suds. Mr. Badaway. Mr. Badaway. Mr. Baptiste. Mr. Baptiste. Ms. Zerowitz. Ms. Zerowitz. Mr. Fragiscados. Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang. Madame Martinez Farada. Martinez Farada. Mr. Johari. Johari. Mr. Long. Mr. Long. Mr. Longfield. Mr. Longfield. Mr. Maloney. Mr. Maloney. Mr. McKinnon, Coquitlam Port, Coquitlam. Mr. McKinnon, Coquitlam Port, Coquitlam. Mr. McLeod. Mr. Morrissey. Mr. Morrissey. Mr. Rabia. Mr. Rabia. Mr. Sarai. Mr. Sarai. Mr. Shifke. Mr. Shifke. Madame Shanahan. Madame Shanahan. Ms. Sidhu Brampton South. Ms. Sidhu Brampton South. Mr. Cerbera. Mr. Cerbera. Mrs. Zaid. Mrs. Zaid. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Ms. Yip. Ms. Yip. Mr. Aldag. Mr. Aldag. Mrs. Atwin. Mrs. Atwin. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. Dong. Mr. Dong. Ms. Latanzio. Latanzio. Mr. Lewis Kitchener Conestoga. Mr. Lewis Kitchener Conestoga. Mr. Palowski. Mr. Mr. Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull. Madame Mendez. Mr. Van Vinen. Mr. Weiler. Mr. Zuberi. Mr. Ali. Ms. Bradford. Mr. Chahal. Madame Diab. Mr. Gahir. Mr. Hanley. Ms. Hepner. Ms. Kayabaga. Madame Lapointe. Mr. McDonald Malpeck. Mr. Miao. Ms. Thompson. Mrs. Valdez. Que tous ceux qui s'opposent à la motion veuillent bien se lever. The House will now wait for the electronic voting period to end before resuming proceedings.
I wish to inform the House that the electronic voting period has ended. We're not able to vote due to technical difficulties. They may now use the raise hand function and the chair will recognize them. Seeing none, le bureau va maintenant... The table will now compile the results of the vote. Yes, pour 324, plus 24. Yes, pour Neil I declare the motion carried. Yay! Pursuant to order made on Thursday, June 23, 2022, the House will now proceed to the taking of the deferred recorded division on the motion at the third reading stage of Bill C-18. La question or the is as follows. Monsieur Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez, seconded by Ms. Santonge, moved that Bill C-18 an act respecting online communications platforms that make news content available that make news content available to persons in Canada be now read a third time and do pass. And a period for members voting electronically has started and the House will now proceed to the vote for members participating in person. Que tous ceux qui appuient la motion all those in favor of the motion will please rise. Mr. Holland. Mr. Macaulay Cardigan. Macaulay Cardigan. Mr. O'Regan. Mr. O'Regan. Ms. Bennett. Ms. Bennett. Ms. Paltrow. Ms. Paltrow. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Mr. Leblanc. Mr. Leblanc. Ms. Anand. Ms. Anand. Ms. Tassi. Ms. Tassi. Madam Petitpas Taylor. Petitpas Taylor. Mr. Seri. Mr. Seri. Ms. Jasek. Ms. Jasek. Mr. McKay. Mr. McKay. Mr. Scarpalegia. Mr. Scarpalegia. Madame Saint-Onge. Madame Saint-Onge. Ms. Cara. Ms. Cara. Mr. Vandal. Mr. Vandal. Madame Fortier. Madame Fortier. Ms. Murray. Ms. Murray. Ms. Gould. Ms. Gould. Mr. McKinnon Gatineau. Mr. McKinnon Gatineau. Ms. Ng. Ms. Ng. Ms. Haidu. Ms. Haidu. Madame Le Boutillier. Madame Le Boutillier. Madame Bibo. Madame Bibo. Mr. Housefather. Mr. Housefather. Mr. Casey. Mr. Casey. Monsieur Dubourg. Monsieur Dubourg. Mr. Arsenault. Mr. Arsenault. Ms. Vandenbell. Ms. Vandenbell. Mr. Sanson. Mr. Sanson. Madame Briard. Madame Briard. Mr. Biddle. Mr. Biddle. Mr. Fillmore. Mr. Fillmore. Mr. Garretson. Mr. Garretson. Mrs. Romanado. Mrs. Romanado. Mr. Lamoureux. Mr. Lamoureux. Ms. Sahota. Mr. Sahota. Mr. Verani. Mr. Verani. Mr. Fergus. Mr. Fergus. Mr. Oliphant. Mr. Oliphant. Mr. Ananda Sangri. Mr. Ananda Sangri. Madame Koutrakis. Madame Koutrakis. Mr. Duguid. Mr. Duguid. Mr. Lauzon. Mr. Lauzon. Madame Lalonde. Madame Lalonde. Ms. Dillon. Ms. Dillon. Mr. El Khoury. Mr. El Khoury. Mr. Fonseca. Mr. Fonseca. Mr. Hardy. Mr. Hardy. Mr. Yakano. Mr. Yakano. Mr. Vancouverden. Vancouverden. Mr. Fisher. Fisher. Mr. Kuzmerichek. Mr. Kuzmerichek. Ms. O'Connell. Ms. O'Connell. Ms. Sachs. Ms. Sachs. Mr. Beach. Mr. Beach. Mr. May Cambridge. Mr. May Cambridge. Mr. Cedar Brampton East. Mr. Cedar Brampton East. Ms. Suds. Ms. Suds. Mr. Battaway. Mr. Battaway. Mr. Baptiste. Mr. Baptiste. Ms. Zerowitz. Ms. Zerowitz. Mr. Mr. Fragiscados. Mr. Fragiscados. Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang. Madame Martinez Ferrada. Mr. Johari. Mr. Johari. Mr. Long. Mr. Long. Mr. Longfield. Mr. Maloney. Maloney. Mr. McLeod. Mr. Mc. Mr. McKinnon. Coquitlam for Coquitlam. Mr. McLeod. Mr. Morrissey. Mr. Rabia. Mr. Sarai. Mr. Shifke. And I'm Shanahan. Ms. Sidu Brampton South. Mr. Sarbera. Mrs. Zaid. Mr. Rogers. Ms. Yip. Mr. Aldag. Mrs. Atwin. Mr. Baker. Mr. Blois. Mr. Correction. Mr. Dong. Mr. Dong. Ms. Latanzio. Mr. Lewis Kitchener Conestoga. Mr. Palowski. Mr. Turnbull. Madame Mendez. Mr. Van Bynan. Mr. Zuberi. Mr. Mr. Ali, Mr. Ali, Ms. Bradford, Ms. Bradford. Mr. Chahal, Chahal. Ms. Mr. Koto, Mr. Koto. Madam Diab. Diab, Mr. Gehir, Mr. Hanley, Mr. Hanley. Ms. Hefner, Ms. Kayabaga, Ms. Kayabaga. Madam Lapointe, Lapointe. Mr. McDonald Malpec, 
Mr. Miao, Ms. Thompson, Mrs. Valdez, Mr. Terrien, Mr. Terrien. Monsieur Saint Marie, Monsieur Saint Marie, Madame Normandin, Madame Normandin, Monsieur Simard, Monsieur Simard, Monsieur Bergeron, Monsieur Bergeron, Monsieur Garon, Monsieur Garon, Madame Gill, Madame Gill, Madame de Bellefeuille, Madame de Bellefeuille, Madame Michaud, Madame Michaud, Monsieur Fortin, Monsieur Fortin, Monsieur Brunel du Cep, Monsieur Brunel du Cep, Monsieur Terriot, Monsieur Terriot, Monsieur Villemur, Monsieur Villemur, Madame Larouche, Madame Larouche, Monsieur Perron, Monsieur Perron. Monsieur Plamondon. Monsieur Plamondon. Madame Vignola. Madame Vignola. Monsieur Savard Tremblay. Monsieur Savard Tremblay. Monsieur Champoux. Monsieur Champoux. Monsieur Lemire. Monsieur Lemire. Madame Saint Clair de Gagné. Madame Saint Clair de Gagné. Madame Chabot. Madame Chabot. Monsieur Trudel. Monsieur Trudel. Monsieur Blanchette Jonca. Monsieur Blanchette Jonca. Madame Bérubé. Madame Bérubé. Retour à Madame Desbiens. Madame Desbiens. Mr. Singh. Mr. Singh. Mr. Julian. Mr. Julian. Mr. Garrison. Mr. Garrison. Back to Ms. Kwan. Ms. Kwan. Back to Mr. Cannings. Mr. Cannings. Ms. Blaney. Ms. Blaney. Ms. Idlout. Ms. Idlout. Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor. Ms. Gazan. Ms. Gazan. Ms. Barron. Ms. Barron. Mr. Backrack. Mr. Backrack. Madame Hughes. Madame Hughes. Ms. Zarillo. Ms. Zarillo. Mr. Angus. Mr. Angus. Ms. Matheson. Ms. Matheson. Mr. Dejarle. Mr. Dejarle. Ms. McPherson. McPherson. Mr. Morris. Mr. Morris. All those opposed to the motion will please rise. Mr. Shear. Mr. Shear. Mr. Bazan. Mr. Bazan. Mr. Halan. Mr. Halan. Ms. Lewis Haldeman Norfolk. Ms. Lewis Haldeman Norfolk. Mr. Straw. Mr. Straw. Ms. Dancho. Ms. Dancho. Mr. Barlow. Mr. Barlow. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Mr. Baldinelli. Mr. Baldinelli. Mr. Mazur. Mr. Mazur. Mr. Jennis. Mr. Jennis. Mr. Small. Mr. Small. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Bertold. Mr. Bertold. Mr. Workington. Mr. Workington. Ms. Finley. Ms. Finley. Mr. Abulteyev. Mr. Abulteyev. Mr. Chong. Mr. Chong. Mrs. Gray. Mrs. Gray. Mr. Barrett. Mr. Barrett. Mr. Schmail. Mr. Schmail. Mr. Perkins. Mr. Perkins. Mr. Davidson. Mr. Davidson. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Viss. Mr. Viss. Mr. Calkins. Mr. Calkins. Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Lloyd. Ms. Rood. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Martel. Mr. Godin. Mr. Genru. Mr. Genru. Mrs. Roberts. Mrs. Roberts. Mrs. Goodridge. Mrs. Goodridge. Mrs. Ferrari. Mrs. Ferrari. Mrs. Vecchio. Mrs. Vecchio. Mr. Chambers. Mr. Chambers. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Mr. Lobb. Mr. Lobb. Mr. Allison, Mr. Allison, Mr. Reed, Mr. Reed, Mr. McLean, Mr. McLean Mrs. Gallant, Mrs. Gallant, Mr. Waugh, Mr. Waugh, Mr. Steinley, Mr. Steinley, Mr. Lawrence, Mr. Lawrence, Mrs. Cramp Nyman, Mrs. Cramp Nyman. Mr. Le Mr. Mr. Genereux, Mr. Mr. Tucker, Mr. Zimmer, Mr. Zimmer, Mr. Gould, Mr. Gould, Mr. Arnold, Mr. Arnold, Mr. Brassard, Mr. Brassard, Mr. Williamson, Mr. Williamson. Mr. McGuire, Mr. McGuire, Mr. Cram, Mr. Cram, Mr. Dreeshan, Mr. Dreeshan, Mr. Couric, Mr. Couric, Mr. Alves, Mr. Alves, Mr. Tolmy, Mr. Tolmy, Mr. Muse, Mr. Muse, Mr. Carey, Mr. Carey, Mr. Brock, Mr. Brock, Mr. Shipley, Mr. Shipley, Mr. Redekop, Mr. Redekop, Mr. Morantz, Mr. Morantz, Mr. Macaulay, Edmonton West, Mr. Macaulay, Edmonton West. Mr. Dantremont, Mr. Dantremont, Mr. Dowdle, Mr. Dowdle, Mr. Bragdon, Mr. Bragdon, Mr. Epp, Mr. Epp. Mr. Mott, Mr. Mott, Mr. Weber, Mr. Weber, Mrs. Wagenthal, Mrs. Wagenthal Mr. Wearson, Mr. Mr. Ruff, Mr. Ruff, Mr. Shields, Mr. Shields, Mr. Fast, Mr. Fast, Mr. Morrison, Mr. Morrison, Mr. Patzer, Mr. Patzer, Mr. Soroka, Mr. Soroka. The House will now wait for the electronic voting period to end before resuming its proceedings.
I wish to inform the House that the electronic voting period has ended. See the deep if members were not able to vote due to technical difficulties, they may now use the raise hand function and the chair will recognize them. The table will now compile the results of the vote. Nays four, 213, just all times. Nays call 114, so catch all. I declare the motion carried. Uh, Pursuant to order made on Thursday, June 23rd, 2022, the House will now proceed to the taking of the deferred recorded division on the third on the motion at third reading of Bill S-223 under private members' business. The question is as follows. Mr. Jenna, seconded by Mr. Zubery, move that Bill S-223, an act to amend the criminal code and the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act, trafficking in human organs, be now read a third time and do pass. The 10 minute period for members voting electronically has started and the House will now proceed with the vote. Du commencement, Matt. We will start with the sponsor of the item. Dennis. Mr. Dennis. We will now proceed to members participating in person. All those at my left in favor of the motion will please rise. Mr. Dowdle. Mr. Dowdle. Mr. Bragdon. Mr. Bragdon. Mr. Epp. Mr. Epp. Mr. Mott. Mr. Mott. Mr. Weber. Mr. Weber. Mrs. Wagenthal. Mrs. Wagenthal. Mr. Veerson. Mr. Veerson. Mr. Ruff. Mr. Ruff. Mr. Shields. Mr. Shields. Mr. Morrison. Mr. Morrison. Mr. Patzer. Mr. Patzer. No, I'm Mr. just doing the vote. He's coming back. Mr. Soroka. Mr. Blanchette Jonca. Mr. Blanchette Jonca. Madame Berube. Madame Berube. Madame Hughes. Madame Hughes. Ms. Zarillo. Ms. Zarillo. Oh. All those in all those in the fifth row. <laughs> Mr. McGuire. Mr. McGuire. Mr. Cram. Mr. Cram. Mr. Dreeshan. Mr. Dreeshan. Mr. Couric. Mr. Couric. Mr. Albus. Mr. Albus. Mr. Tolmy. Mr. Tolmy. Mr. Muse. Mr. Muse. Mr. Carey. Mr. Carey. Mr. Brock. Mr. Brock. Mr. Shipley. Mr. Shipley. Mr. Redekop. Mr. Redekop. Mr. Morant. Mr. Morant. Mr. Macaulay Edmonton West. Mr. Macaulay Edmonton West. Mr. Lemire. Mr. Lemire. Madame Saint Clair de Gagné. Madame Saint Clair de Jean Gagné. Madame Chabot. Madame Chabot. Mr. Trudel. Mr. Trudel. Madame Debien. Madame Debien. Ms. Barron. Ms. Barron. Mr. Backrack. Mr. Backrack. Fourth row. Mr. Allison. Mr. Allison. Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. Mr. McLean. McLean. Mrs. Gallant. Mrs. Gallant. Mr. Waugh. Mr. Waugh. Mr. Steinley. Mr. Steinley. Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence. Mrs. Cramp Nyman. Mrs. Cramp Nyman. Mr. Le Mr. Le Mr. Genereur. Mr. Genereur. Mr. Talker. Mr. Talker. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Gould. Mr. Gould. Mr. Caputo. Mr. Caputo. Mr. Arnold. Mr. Arnold. Mr. Brassard. Mr. Brassard. Mr. Williamson. Mr. Williamson. Mr. Plamondon. Mr. Plamondon. Madame Vignola. Madame Vignola. Mr. Savard Tremblay. Mr. Savard Tremblay. Mr. Champou. Mr. Champou. Ms. Gazan. Ms. Gazan. In the third row. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Viss. Mr. Viss. Mr. Calkins. Mr. Calkins. Mr. Lloyd, Mr. Lloyd, Ms. Rude, Ms. Rude Mr. Cooper, Mr. Cooper Mr. Martel, Mr. Martel, Mr. Godin, Mr. Godin Mr. Genero, Mr. Genero, Mrs. Roberts, Mrs. Roberts, Mrs. Goodridge, Mrs. Goodridge, Ms. Ferrari, Ferrari Mrs. Vecchio, Mrs. Vecchio Mr. Chambers, Mr. Chambers, Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, Mr. Lobb, Mr. Lobb, Mr. Thériault, Mr. Thériault, Mr. Villemur, Mr. Villemur, Madame Larouche, Madame Larouche, Mr. Perron, Mr. Perron, Mr. McGregor, Mr. McGregor, Mr. Second row, Aldenelli, Mr. Bolden, <laughs> Mr. Major. Mr. Major. Mr. Small. Mr. Small. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Bertol. Mr. Bertol. Mr. Warkington. Mr. Warkington. Ms. Finley. Ms. Finley. Mr. Abutayev. Abutayev. Mr. Chong. Mr. Chong. Mrs. Gray. Mrs. Gray. Mr. Barrett. Mr. Barrett. Mr. Schmale. Mr. Schmale. Mr. Perkins. Mr. Perkins. Mr. Garon. Mr. Garon. Madame Gill. Madame Gill. Madame de Bellefeuille. Madame de Bellefeuille. Madame Michaud. Oui, Madame Michaud. Mr. Fortin. Monsieur, Madame Fortin. Monsieur Fortin. Mr. Brunel Duceppe. Mr. Brunel Duceppe. Mr. Garrison. Mr. Garrison. Ms. Blaney. Ms. Blaney. Ms. Idlaut. Ms. Idlaut. All those in the first row. <laughs> Mr. Bazan. Mr. Bazan. Mr. Shear. Mr. Shear. Ms. Lewis Haldeman Norfolk. Ms. Lewis Haldeman Norfolk. 
Mr. Barlow. Mr. Barlow. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Mr. Terrien. Mr. Terrien. Retour à Mr. Saint Marie. Mr. Saint Marie. Madame Normandin. Madame Normandin. Mr. Simard. Mr. Simard. Mr. Bergeron. Mr. Bergeron. Mr. Cannings. Mr. Cannings. Mr. Singh. Mr. Singh. Mr. Julian. Mr. Julian. Ms. Kwan. Ms. Kwan. All those at my right in favor of the motion will please rise in the sixth row. Madame Mendez, Mr. Van Bynen, Mr. Zuberi, Ms. Bradford, Mr. Chahal, Mr. Cotto, Madame Diab, Mr. Gehir, Mr. Hanley, Ms. Hepner, Ms. Kayabaga, Madame Lapointe, Mr. McDonald Malpeck, Mr. Miao, Ms. Thompson, Mrs. Valdez. Thank you, Miraji. Fifth row. Mr. Long, Mr. Longfield, Mr. Maloney. Mr. McKinnon, Coquitlam for Coquitlam. Mr. McKinnon, Coquitlam for Coquitlam. Mr. McLeod. Mr. Morrissey. Mr. Morrissey. Mr. Rabia. Mr. Rabia. Mr. Sarai. Mr. Sarai. Madame Shanahan. Madame Shanahan. Ms. Sidhu, Brampton South. Ms. Sidhu, Brampton South. Mr. Sarbera. Mr. Sarbera. Mrs. Zaid. Zaid. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Ms. Yip. Ms. Yip. Mr. Aldag. Mr. Aldag. Mrs. Atwin. Mrs. Atwin. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. Dong. Mr. Dong. Ms. Latanzio. Mr. Latanzio. Mr. Lewis Kitchener Conestoga. Mr. Lewis Kitchener Conestoga. Mr. Mr. Palowski, Mr. Turnbull, the fourth row. Mr. El Curie, Mr. Fonseca, Mr. Hardy, Mr. Yakano, Mr. Vancouverden, Mr. Fisher, Mr. Kuzmerchek, Ms. Sachs. Mr. Beach, Mr. Beach, Mr. May Cambridge, May Cambridge. Mr. Sidhu Brampton East, Mr. Ms. Suds, Ms. Suds. Mr. Badaway, Mr. Betsy's, Ms. Sarowitz, Mr. Fragiscados, Mr. Fragiscados, Mr. Chang, Mr. Chang, Madame Martinez Ferrada, Mr. Mr. Johari, Mr. Mr. Morris, Troisième Roger. Third row. Mr. Arsenault. Mr. Arsenault. Ms. Vandenbell. Ms. Vandenbell. Mr. Sanson. Mr. Sanson. Madame Bria. Madame Bria. Mr. Biddle. Mr. Biddle. Mr. Fillmore. Mr. Fillmore. Mrs. Romanado. Mrs. Romanado. Mr. Lamoureux. Mr. Lamoureux. Ms. Sahota. Mr. Hota. Mr. Varani. Mr. Mr. Varani. Mr. Fergus. Mr. Fergus. Mr. Oliphant. Mr. Oliphant. Mr. Ananda Sangri. Mr. Ananda Sangri. Madame Catru. Madame. <laughs> Koutrakis. Madame Koutrakis. Mr. Dugan. Mr. Dugan. Mr. Lozon. Mr. Lozon. Madame Lalonde. Madame Lalonde. Ms. Dillon. Ms. Dillon. Deuxième Second row. Mr. Scarpelletia. Madame Saint-Onge. Ms. Cara. Mr. Vandal. Madame Fortier. Ms. Murray. Ms. Gould. Mr. McKinnon gets no. Ms. Ng. Ms. Haidu. Madame Le Boutillier. Madame Bibo. Mr. Serre. Mr. Housefather. Mr. Casey. Mr. Dubourg. Mr. Dubourg. Mr. Desjardins. Ms. McPherson. Those in the first row. Mr. Macaulay Cardigan. Macaulay Cardigan. Mr. O'Regan. O'Regan. Ms. Bennett. Ms. Bennett. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Leblanc. Mr. Leblanc. Mr. Holland. Mr. Holland. Mr. Champagne. Mr. Champagne. Ms. Anon. Ms. Anon. Ms. Tassie. Ms. Tassie. Madame Pitzpa Taylor. Pitzpa Taylor. Mr. Boissonneau. Mr. Boissonneau. Ms. Jasek. Ms. Jasek. Ms. Matheson. Ms. Matheson. All those at my left opposed to the motion will please rise in the sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, and first. All those at my right opposed to the motion will please rise at the sixth, the fifth, the fourth, the third, the second, and the first. The House will now wait for the electronic voting period to end before resuming its proceedings.
I wish to inform the House that the electronic voting period has ended. If members were unable to vote due to technical difficulties, I think I'm getting translation on the main channel here. We'll try again. If members were not able to vote due to technical difficulties, and they'll use the raise hand function and the chair. Just uh, pause for a moment to fix the interpretation here. All right, we'll try this again. If members were not able to vote due to technical difficulties, they may not use the raise hand function of the chair. We'll recognize them. Press sign, because I don't have my screen here either. So. Okay. Uh, the table will now compile the results of the vote. Nays called 323. Nays called one term. I declare the motion carried. Order, order. There have been discussions among the representatives of the parties in the House. And understand we will now proceed to tributes to our late colleague, the Honourable Jim Carr. I now recognize the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On Monday, we lost Jim Carr. We heard the news a couple of hours later here in the House and held a moment of silence. This was news that Sorry, it'll be, quick, it'll be quick. Okay. Hi, everyone. Garnet Jenis. We've just finished the vote. Thank you all for, for watching the vote. Thank you for your support. So uh, you would have seen that the House uh, more or less unanimously endorsed both of these initiatives uh, to, uh, to support the, the middle way approach, genuine autonomy for Tibet, uh, and also to endorse uh, a bill banning forced organ harvesting and trafficking. So two strong steps for human rights, uh, two initiatives that I've been working on for seven years as a parliamentarian, uh, and both are now passed into law. So thank you for watching the votes. Thank you. Please, um, please continue to, to advocate, call on the government to, to uh, uh, push these initiatives forward, uh, to, to, to implement them fully, uh, but big steps forward today. Thank you all for watching and, uh, and all the best.